questions so far? Yes, Chris Christina. Yes. Um, uh, let's see. I guess it's it's really it's taking anything as something that is universal and not. not linked to a particular situation, right? So it's, it's, it's really the difference between black and blackness, right? So black is, a, is an adjective that attaches, so you could say the stove is black, it attaches to the stove, the black stove, right? And if you take blackness instead of black, you're saying th this concept of being black, which is an abstraction because it's, it's, it's you've, you've detached it from any specific instance of being black. Right, and so it's an abstraction because it's uh, it's not tied to a specific case. Okay. All right. Other questions? All right. So why must the predicate be independent of the subject? Any ideas on this? Why must the predicate be independent of the subject? Yes, um, your name is Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay. Right, in case the proposition is false, right? Because you can't, you, right, so a proposition is only there because it could be true, it could be false, because that's why you make the proposition. And if the, if the predicate were dependent on the subject, then the proposition could never be false. Right? And so it has to be independent of the subject for the proposition, for the possibility of the falseness of the proposition. And the proposition only makes sense because you need to make the proposition in order to assert the trueness as opposed to the falseness. Uh, and if, if it could only be true, then there's no, there's no proposition in fact. Right? Okay? Good. Right? So the predicate has to be independent of the subject in order that it, the, the proposition could be true or false, and in order then for that proposition to make sense, right? Why must qualities be pure abstractions? And it's related to what we just explained, right? So, somebody want to explain? Nobody? Why must qualities be pure? So it's it's it's, 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 it's why why does black have to always be conceivable as blackness? Is this an obvious thing or is this a hard thing? <laughs> Nobody's giving me an answer. Yes, uh, Luz. So uh, you can make universals. Well, okay, yes, that's uh, that's a good answer. So. Qualities have to be perfection so that they can be universal, which is to say so that they can be applied to different situations, right? And so a quality has to be able to be applied to different situations for it to be a predicate. Otherwise, it wouldn't function as a predicate. It would always be attached to the substance and it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to detach it from a particular situation. So qualities have to be pure abstractions. A black has to be blackness in order for it to be able to be attached to different things and therefore universal. Right? Does that make sense? Other questions about that? It's kind of the same idea, right? We're just kind of repeating the same idea in it, in it with, with some different terms, but it does change the way we look at quality, right? So quality is, <coughs> even though a quality is a quality of a specific thing, so the stove being black, we have to conceive of quality as being something that could be detached from the stove and therefore universal. And, sort of, and it's also abstract in the sense that it's, 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 you can conceive of the blackness as um, detached from any particular black thing. Right? And it's important that you can do that because that's necessary for it to be able to function as a predicate. Okay. 